We're going to be seeing a probably Pichu into a Spider's Pokemon Trainer. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever your Pokemon Trainer can. And it looks like we're actually going to Battlefield as our game one. Uh, very interesting, um, very interesting pick for game one. I feel like, you know, Pokemon Trainer gets uh, a lot out of battle, out of Triplats. I mean, just out of all three Pokemon as well. The irony is not lost on us that we have Pokemon fighting it out, not on Pokemon <laughs> Stadium. Honestly, just ironic that we don't have PS2 as a starter at this point. But let's see how our game one goes right now. The back air setting Spider up off stage right now, but the waterfall getting Spider back into things. I mean, this, this is a combo heavy character versus a combo heavy character, and it's not a combo heavy character anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, going into uh, Charizard for that extra. What attack? That extra recovery, but now you're Charizard. You're a big body up against Pichu. You're gonna be having a pretty bad time. Maybe gonna be looking for a Thunder here. No, not quite. Caster Man not gonna yet. be keeping that one in his pocket for now. Spider looking to just rank, rank up that rage and just kill off a throw. Oh, that being said, though, almost. Ooh, what a stuff recovery. No two frame. Up looking for that two frame after the flame breath. Unfortunately, Spider uh, misspacing things after that uh, quick attack. Caster Man now just kind of swinging, looking for this kill. You know, you've got a Charizard with Rage and you're oh, that back air. This could snowball incredibly quickly. All right, we're not going to see any switch. Uh, Charizard doing the Lord's work here as a big heavy at 150. Absolutely. Back air, maybe. No, Caster Man DIing away from that. Not even wanting to make that an opportunity. And the down smash evening things up. Rage off the board for Spider and he's back into things. What Spider has been doing great against Caster Man is that he's waiting for Caster Man to just swing first. He hasn't really been initiating, but he's initiating here with Squirtle. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, especially with a character like Pichu. What? If the double dunk? Oh, I thought we were going to see triple. No, no triple needed here. And, but actually, okay, no, using the Charizard to just get back to the Squirtle there, the switch, saving Spider from that uh, Thunder off stage. But Caster Man fighting back immediately here on uh, Spider's second stock. Pichu's Thunderbolt. Oh. All right, Caster Man trying to find some space for himself with these Akuma Fireballs once again. Forward throw to maybe set up for an edge guard. The uh, vine whip there from Spider, keeping him uh, just safe enough to make it back to center stage and set up that reversal. While Pichu does have Akuma's fireballs, not broken like Akuma. Well, not anymore anyway. You could say, you know, somewhat similar to Akuma. Akuma does have uh, low health in Street Fighter games. That's true. That's very true but he does make up for it usually in power. Yeah. But look at this power. Obviously, this Charizard, I feel like, was carrying that first stock so well. Yeah. And this is the second as well. Very scary for Castar Man there, that first stock, letting a Charizard live with Rage. That could have snowballed easily. Oh, my God, Ooh. with that double, double dunk. Amazing. All right, both players uh, playing it out with the same characters, and we're moving on to Smashville as Castar Man's counter pick. So Smashville, I mean, a really good uh, stage for Pikachu and Pichu, just really exacerbating that control that they can exude with the neutral bees, and as well just the more like closer, intimate nature of Smashville. Uh, gonna be giving Castor Man a lot more scramble opportunities that Pichu especially loves. There we go. Got to switch for the type advantage. Absolutely. All right. Let's see. Caster Man using that small frame of Pichu to weave his way back into that center stage where he is going to be making his home. All right. Caster Man doing a fantastic job of just keeping Spider on edge. Absolutely. And using the edge of the uh, Smashville platform there as well to just make sure that he gets the most out of, um, out of the Thunderbolts. What a tech from Spider. Yep. Uh, expecting the Thunder Cloud and some bad DI on that oh. back throw from Castar Man. Did he uh, not have his up special? No quick attack? I 
I, I just wasn't able to uh, make it back. You can even see Spider kind of shaking his head there like, yeah, I don't think that should have killed. But no, don't believe so. May have gone just too low there. But, yeah. uh, you know, even stocks here as Caster Man gets a Thunderbolt. Yep, Caster Man uh, bringing us right back into even, but swinging a little bit too hard once again and uh, able to give uh, Spider the opportunity to enact that, uh, you know, swing second game plan that you were talking about before. You know, regardless of if you're able to, you know, get these scramble situations, uh, if you're not able to actually find those, uh, find those openings, then Spider's gonna be running away with things. Well, so far, very even game, and oh my gosh, ingenious use of that switching to Pokemon for those iframes. Calling it out straight to Charizard. Gonna be looking for this kill. That back air, usually been able to close that out. Back throw, not gonna be doing it quite yet, but the flame breath, unfortunately, oh my gosh. past our man messing up the quick, the uh, agility there from Pichu, not gonna be able to uh, make things work, but the down smash, spot dot, down smash, the uh, the smash ultimate classic, cast our man bringing things to uh, dead even, and we're gonna see if we're gonna be moving on to uh, to game three. The spider not very happy with that, hoping to uh, have switched to another character before that could have happened. But here we go, we see Spider using Squirtle's great combo game to their advantage to rack up that damage. But Pichu answering right back. Yep, and we can see Caster Man looking for a similar setup right there, trying to use the Thunder to catch the Pokemon Switch from Spider. But now Spider pressing the advantage, just running right up, wanting to use the uh, edge guarding power of the Ivysaur. All right, but Charizard's back on deck. Oh, swinging with that reversal a little bit too soon, and now Castar Man gets to play with the advantage. Gotta be careful trying to cross up Charizard like that. Spider's been doing that up special so much, and it just hasn't really been working no. out for him. I'm expecting a uh, flare blitz here, but uh, I feel like Spider. Oh my oh, gosh! Finally, well, now it works. Though, catching Castar Man, holding in, getting a little bit too complacent, and that is going to be Spider moving on to fight Heretta in losers round two. But looks like we may be going to a break. Production? No. Oh, okay. Never mind then. No. Okay. We were uh, very, we're very briefly lied to. Not lied to. Uh, moment. Uh, it's an update. In <laughs> schedule. It's an update. <laughs> All right. Honestly, I was very terrified. Castorant had so many opportunities that last dock to close it out. Honestly, I feel like a thunderbolt um, could have uh, closed it out like on the second time he used that, uh, you know, uh, special out of shield. Yeah, it felt like Castor Man was really starting to find his momentum here at the end of game two. But I just mean, just got too greedy on that last shield attack. Yeah, getting a little bit too greedy as well. Just the uh, like lost stocks at the very beginning. We saw two kind of messed up um, recoveries, and that loss of resources is not going to be living too many reversals after that.